Welcome to Hawker Stories. In Singapore, everyone loves hawker food. It's part of our identity. In this special series, we will try mouth-watering local dishes and also explore the history, innovation, challenges and secrets to success behind every hawker stall. Exactly. Together, let's embrace the resilience and unity of these hawker owners and celebrate the inclusive spirit that brings us all together in Singapore. Hello everyone, we are back with another episode of Story of a Nation! A hawker story! My name is Yang. My name is Kuhan. So Kuhan, where are we located at today? Okay, today is a special day where we are at the north side, Yishun Park Hawker Centre. Center. We're going to hear for some nasi lemak. Yes, and today Kuhan, do you know we have actually two special distinguished guests we will be seeing you later. Yes, so, I, I shall we go? Shall yeah, we go? I think, yeah, let's go, let's, let's go, go, let's go. Kuhan, here, here. Okay, alright, alright, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello everybody, we are here at Nasi Lemak Ayam Taliwang and we are here with the founder, Norman. Hello Norman. Hi everybody. Welcome to our show. I want to ask you a very very important question before anything, okay? Okay. When do you find or start this whole concept of Nasi Lemak shop? Uh, nasi Lemak is actually started by our family back in the 1980s when I was about uh, six years old. Okay. okay. Uh, on and off, my family moved around all the hawker centres mm. while I do my studies and help them out a bit in the mornings and the evenings. Mm. But, but this particular brand started officially in 2017. And I want to know one thing before my partner continues. <laughs> sure. Okay. How is it possible for you to look good and carry on the job? It's Actually, so it's early very handsome bro. <laughs> yeah. It's very handsome for hawker, yeah. for hawker uh, bosses though. I, I think that's very subjective. Right? <laughs> I'm not sure everybody would see me as uh, good looking. but. But uh, we do have to keep uh, fit like, while, while doing this kind of strenuous job. But we stand long hours, uh, it's very hot, very oily, very sweet, sweaty, and the, the, the pressure is immense when you are uh, serving customers. Mm, I, yeah. see, I see, I see. Although well, that's a very interesting concept that we've heard before from many hawkers. You have yes. to keep fit yeah. in order to do even better. Yeah. You have to keep fit because, because it's very long hours, you know, 12 hours, 16 hours job. Well, that's very long. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so boss, can I just ask you, out of so many nasi lemak dishes that we have, right, which mm. is your most popular? And favorite flavor, which one, is, which one is the most popular one? Okay, so the favorite for our customers and our, our unique selling uh, uh, item is the nasi lemak ayam taliwang. Ah. So what is so special about this dish? Uh, this nasi lemak is a fusion of uh, an Indonesian dish available in Lombok, okay. in a town called Taliwang. Okay. And my, my wife is the one who introduced me to this dish. Uh. So it's a basically grilled chicken. So there's a special that's sauce. Called, yeah. That is not far common in Singapore. It's, it was not common until recently, where they, I think there are a few other brands that are also starting to sell uh, the Taliwang dish. Ah, yeah. okay, 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 okay. I think hawker or hawker culture, I mean, hawker centers, hawkers itself, is a very uni unifying factor for Singaporeans. Mm. Everyone from the poor to the rich uh, to uh, all nationalities, at one point of time in one month they, are, they will come to hawker centers. Mm. So you can, as you can see. Like in Yishun Park Hawker Centre, we have 42 stalls. Mm -hmm. We have Indian stalls, Malay stalls, Japanese stalls, Chinese stalls. Mm -hmm. All in one and everybody comes here to makan. No matter who they are, what kind of uh, race they, they are, we sit in one table, mm -hmm. we order from the same stalls. And that's I think is the main um, factor for, for hawkers. Uh. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a kampung, you see. Everybody comes as one. Uh, if like we are to defend, mm -hmm. A country as a hawker centre, we all was, all come to the hawker centre and defend the hawker centre in a way. Mm. I cannot wait to try your nasi lemak out. Okay, so can we start? Hello everybody, my name is Kuhan and I'm joined with Ping Yang today. Hi everybody, so today we have two very special guests with us. The first one, we have local popular director, Director Kelvin. Woo! And of course, very, uh, very, very honoured to be here with us, we have Professor Faisal, advisor for Nisun GRC. Woo! Hey guys, welcome to this portion of the day. Okay, I would like to introduce our second set of guests, which is four of them right here. Wow. Okay, <laughs> the first one is a signature dish from nasi lemak ayam taliwang. Okay, that is the signature dish. Then this is called kicap sambal. This is the jumbo set, which consists of our basic nasi lemak but with extra items. And the last one will be cabe hijau. Hijau means green. Okay, so this one. Before we dive into this, Prof, I want to ask you something. What is your connectivity, connection towards nasi lemak in your childhood or throughout the days? In fact, I, I grew up with nasi lemak. Mm -hmm. not, not only uh, from the hawker stalls, uh, even at home, mm. my late mother used to eat very nice nasi lemak. Mm. And in those times, uh, when you went to the hawker stall or even 
uh, at the counter coffee shop, you will see a very nice nasi lemak inside the uh, daun pisang, mm. right? Mm. And very small, but fantastic inside. Mm. And from what I know, right, and what I've seen, even in cartoons, you know, Asian cartoons, mm. and also, right, throughout my childhood, I've seen the basic nasi lemak set is the pyramid. Yes. And that pyramid made all the difference in the yeah. world, trust me. Yes. And also, right, speaking about hawker, I heard Director here. Oh, you're he right, has, bro. Uh, news, right? You're right. So, so actually, director Calvin is directing an upcoming movie. Why not we get him to share more with us? Yeah. My new movie is called King of Hawkers. King of Hawker. So it's wow. really a movie that promotes our local hawker food and hawker culture. So it's a th touching story about family trying to keep keep the store and hold it all together, and also a, a mixture of you know the new hawkers and old hawkers. Because if you realize new hawkers, old hawkers, there's, there's actually a difference. But I think what really brings people together, the beautiful thing about our hawker culture is that regardless of language, race or religion, mm. everybody come together, enjoy, to enjoy good food together. We share food, share table, it doesn't matter whether it's Malay food, Indian food, Eurasian food, Chinese food, it doesn't matter. I think this is what really makes our hawker culture really unique. Mm. Yeah. Actually, Ping Yang, from this, right, one thing that really captured me is him saying right, that it doesn't matter what type of food, we don't diversify. We are together as one. That's the first thing about Singapore. We have to all agree about it. And we always welcome different ideas, different cultures, different generations. I totally agree with you, but Kuhan, honestly speaking, looking at all the nasi lemak in front of us, I can't wait to try. Shall, okay. shall we try yeah. the food first? Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so Director Kevin, uh, mm. as, as we continue eating, mm. can, can you just share with me? You know, nasi lemak is a staple food for mm. all of us Singaporeans. So, okay, can I just understand uh, mm. in nasi lemak, what is the most important aspect that you're looking for? that you will consider it a perfect nasi lemak? Okay, first of all, right, I just want to tell you that I'm so happy to be here today Ooh. and I'm very happy that the food featured is nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. <laughs> because on a normal morning, right, if I just walk past the hawker centre, mm. you know there's chai tau kuih, there's chui kuih, all this breakfast stuff, chai bee hoon, right? But the moment I see nasi lemak, right, yeah. no need to think already. <laughs> Zero it, yes. it will be nasi lemak. So I think the, the secret about nasi lemak is I I, 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 I think it's really the, the chili, yeah. mm. the coconut rice and the ikan bilis. Mm. Right? I can don't do with any other items here. But you give me, you know, like what Wuhan said right just now, the triangle thing, right? Mm. Just give me chili, rice, ikan bilis. And that's enough. Yeah. I think it's enough to make me very happy yeah. for the whole day. So so things like <laughs> things like the egg, the chicken wing, as bonus. 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 I always look for the chili mm. and I ask for more chili. Mm. Professor, you will definitely know this store in Yishun, mm. there are actually a Michelin guide in 2019, 2020, 2021. And, and moving forward, the reason for that is because of the consistency. And one of the most important aspects of Michelin, the, the feature of Michelin, is actually the consistency of their food. Mm. And, and probably the reason why they use one central kitchen is because they, they have the actual consistency throughout all their outlets. Yeah. So, Professor Faisal, what, what do you think of the chili? Very nice. It's something different as compared mm. to many nasi lemak stores. It gives you the taste of the traditional nasi lemak. But yet, as Han mentioned earlier, there is innovation. Mm. Right? You, you, did, you didn't get this type of nasi lemak in the past. But today, with innovation, I think we develop our taste. Mm. And I'm happy that we can get this at the hawker centre. Mm. I think yeah. this is something very unique in Singapore. Totally agree. I yeah, think it's nice. evolved over mm. time. Mm. But I think what doesn't change is this is the heart and the love and the soul mm. that's put into preparing the food. Yeah. Yeah. And the one thing that I hope doesn't change is the addition of banana leaf. <laughs> so, so director Kevin, I understand uh, the upcoming movie that you are mm. uh, you're actually filming, right? Because mm. it's hawk, about hawker. Can, mm. can I just can you just share with us what is the message that you like to relate to all Singaporeans about this movie? What's the message that you are trying to relate to us? I want, to, uh, I want to relay the message that, first of all, uh, our hawker culture is something that is truly unique to Singaporeans and we should be proud of it and retain it. Despite the fact that I just mentioned, you know, the food, the taste evolved, but the spirit behind and how all, the, all different cultures, all different races can come together at the same place and enjoy good food together and it's not just one place there's so many hawker centers in Singapore yeah so I think this is something that should remind Singaporeans to be truly proud of it and don't take it for granted mm. yeah. yeah because I know a lot of friends right we take it for granted the moment they travel outside they stay for many years the first thing when they come back is I need to go to hawker center to eat something <laughs> because we don't get this the moment they are, they are overseas they realise how important that is and they realise that they have been taking it for granted. For us, because it's so common, right? Every mm. day, 
hawker center, hawker it's center. Everywhere. It's everywhere. You don't really feel anything un until you lose it. Then you yes. realize, whoa, okay. So it's this message of love and to treasure this heritage and you know, be proud of it that all of us can come together regardless of language, race, religion and enjoy good food. What do you think that the one quality that you should have in order to start a hawker? So essentially, I, I find that you, you, because you mentioned about hawker centres, uh, linked to what Singapore is. Mm. One is, if you look at hawker centres, right, what happens at the hawker centres is a manifestation of our multiracial policy. Mm. With this in mind, mm. and you look at the profile of the hawkers, and uh, I realise that more and more we are seeing new ones, mm. especially younger ones, mm. who want to try out mm. and find that, hey, maybe I can do this. I can. I can try what my, maybe the seniors have been doing and I want to bring, uh, bring a, a new range of food mm. and provide the opportunities for the people who go to Hawker Centre to, to taste it. Mm. And today, NEA is very progressive. Mm. They, they, they work with the Hawker Centre operators to provide the opportunity for anyone who mm. wants to go in and there are training available. But what is key is that we must ensure that the quality of the food Mm. and uh, the, the drinks that we provide mm. uh, is of a certain standard, like what we see today, mm. you know? Uh, doesn't mean it's a hawker centre, is of low quality. Mm. Mm. Yes. It's very oh, nice, yeah. Yeah. Right. so we are very, very fortunate. And I think Yishun residents, they are very happy with this. Yeah, I think they are quite lucky <laughs> also actually, uh, yeah. if it comes to this nasi lemak. Pinyang, I think it's time we wish our Singapore a fantastic birthday together. Yes, definitely. Shall we do happy birthday Singapore on three? Sure. Yes. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Singapore! Singapore!